Hey there folks, welcome back to another one of my Let's Perfect Episode 2, or Let's Play you can call it. Uh, today we're going to do these three that I picked, Gothic and Luminous. The translation for this is pretty interesting. How'd it get to be like this? <laughs> and uh, this fabulous zebra song, Saihate. I already perfect Gothic and Luminous, but uh, we'll do it as a let's play. If you're uh, new to the game and you want to step up to the extreme, this is a good song to start. Not too many multi notes and uh, lots of uh, alternating notes that you can practice. So I'll show you my layout again for the uh, button config. I think for almost... I should be able to do all three songs with just this uh, config here. Well, let's give that a go. <clears throat> Again, my target is under 20 minutes. Let's see how that goes. This is one of the few PVs in this game where it's actually not a PV. But uh, just one of them the videos. Well, I guess it is a PV. It's not a 3D PV, you can call it. This is a nice song from Rindo. When I first heard the song in uh, F second, this was one of my favorites to play. But there was like no good charts until like two years later when uh, Nitro Tom finally made the chart for it. I didn't even perfect that either until like a year after <laughs> I got lazy. Uh, PB's nice though. Wow. I'm just getting a shitload of goods right now. There we go. Nothing fancy this song if you want to go for the high zone. Just perfect all the notes and all the holds in order. Okay. Alright, alright, you guys didn't see that. <laughs> Excuse me. This gives me a better chance here. <laughs> My cools. Alright, that's it. No more fumbles for this song. Time to get serious. Time to be the very diva. Much better. Haven't seen the little filthy good yet. Ah, there it is. You've got to be kidding me. This is not a good start. Maybe I play better when I play at 1 o'clock in the morning. It's uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon right now. Ugh. Feels. Okay. This time, I'll be the very diva and get it. Trap me in your forest, Rin. Back then, when the game first came out, me and uh, Hildo, the Japanese player, was speedrunning the nine star category, and he, uh, he got stuck on this song for a very long time, so I found it really comical when he was like, because his English is not the best, but he was basically saying that he's stuck in the forest of Rin, and that's when I realized, oh yeah, this PB's about, like, oh, it shows you all this forest and stuff. So basically it's Rin's forest, he cannot get out of it. 
I actually have no idea what this uh, song's about. Like most people, we just know it sounds good. Like I said, not too many alter or not too many multi notes, just a lot of alternating. Great song of practice here, left and right. All the multi notes come at the end, but they like don't really come that fast, so. Just practice mode it at the end, you'll be good. Alright, I made it out of the forest. Terrible score. My uh my record is six 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 something 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 something, so this is not even close. But that was on the Japanese version. I didn't do so good on the English version. I have to uh replay it probably like ten times to get the cools way better. Well, that's alright. I escaped the forest, unlike Hildo. Alright, next song, How to Get to Be Like This. I feel like I should practice that hard part, but it's a let's play, so... I'll just wing it. If I get stuck, I'll go to practice mode. I feel like it's cheating if I go practice mode for this let's play. If you haven't played this song yet on Extreme, you're gonna see what happens at the end. They uh, throw a whole bunch of double notes, triple notes at you. Actually no, I think it's just mostly double notes. Not really any triples. But it's a lot of double notes. As if the PV isn't distracting enough already. <laughs> You like uh, Miku's Apple product? You see her headphones are plugged into that Apple? Nice. This song, same thing as the Gothic and Loneliness. Nothing fancy, just do all the holds in order. And perfect. That's the best score. Let go the hold! Oh, that's okay. No! <laughs> I was done. What happened? Oh, I got that hard part of work try to. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do this episode in under 20 minutes. <laughs> Should've picked easier songs. Now, 
LGS Fantastic. It's uh, it's funny how these uh, game work. If I think too hard about that complicated part, I will fumble. I can't, I can't think too hard. I gotta think like just a little bit, but not too much. The problem is right now, just talking about it, I am now overthinking it. So I don't know what's gonna happen this time. I may have to go practice mode. Alright. <laughs> At least I can fix that hold I missed. I use the Sonic Miku quite a lot in my videos, and uh, there was one really funny comment one time. I think it was a little uh, kid though, so don't hate on them too much. But they were asking, how am I using Sonic Miku in uh, this game? <laughs> Won't uh, <laughs> they get copyrighted? <laughs> oh Jesus. There we go. But yeah, Sega is the copyright of Miku and Sonic. Okay, I got it, second try. That was pretty stressful, not gonna lie. But yeah. They, uh, they do have the copyrights allowed, since Sega makes the Project Diva, so <laughs> I just found that was a pretty funny comment. Alright, what am I at right now? 12 minutes? Ooh, I might be able to make it. Alright, last song, Sai Hate. The English translation for this title is like the longest thing ever, man. Well, let's go ahead and give this one a go. Uh, I feel like I should really practice mode this one at the end, because this one's even harder. This is one of those songs that just completely overwhelm you with the multi-notes. You have to practice and uh, memorize it from muscle memory. It's been a while since I've played this too. Oh yeah, by the way, you guys notice the zebra on the cover? Oops. Yeah, and that little cover picture right there. If you watch super carefully, you will see that zebra in this PV. He peeks out behind the uh, little building right there. Comment down below if you uh, notice the zebra. Some people don't notice it, but I, I tell them it's it's there. He only shows for about half a second. You got gotta have to be on your guard. For this song, there's only one hold switch. Oh, Jesus, okay. So it comes at the end. That's all I remember from this song. I think most of you won't even care about the score. Just getting the perfect is satisfactory <laughs> enough for you guys. Because <laughs> it is a doozy. I might even mess up in the middle part. It's a little bit tricky. Ah, <clears throat> oh, yep. 
did the wrong way. Alright. Five minutes left. I'm gonna have to do it this try. Whew. opinion this song does not sound like it's supposed to be a hard song at all sounds more like a seven star song I guess if they added that many double notes to any song they all become pretty difficult <laughs> oh god, I don't think I'm gonna be stuck on this song. Alright, I'm gonna have to practice mode this here. Let's see. So you can practice parts of the song if you haven't realized already. So if you find one part really hard, this is a really nice feature to get good real fast. Watch as I uh, get good real fast. Alright, where was that part? around here. Yeah, right here. So, you push the touchpad as you see on the part that you want to uh save and then if you push R3 basically pushing down on your uh, analog you can just reset to that exact position and just practice it okay what's going on here I might have to figure it a different way okay I'm gonna do this way instead I don't like using my uh, L and R one, but sometimes I have to. It's more consistent. There we go. Oh god. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're good. Yeah, I'm not gonna make it in time. That's alright. Let's see how long it takes me to get this song. This one's a 9.5 for a reason, so I don't feel too bad. Sayate. What I've been practicing for. There we go. 
Halfway, Jesus. Pretty lucky, I'm not gonna lie there. <laughs> Alright, just a little bit over 20 minutes. I'll take it. What? That was 12 goods? Felt like I did a whole bunch more than that. Pretty sure some of the goods were all multi notes though, which count as two or three depending on if it's a double or triple. But that's alright. Uh, I was gonna s tell you guys when that hold switch was, but I didn't want to risk bumbling, so let me show you in practice mode before I end this episode. So if you're new to this uh, series, the uh, hold switch is if you want maximum points, some songs, rather than you see the X hold, you're holding the X hold, another hold comes up, and you could combine them together. But if you do that, you actually get less points because, uh, let's say, uh, let's see, I don't want to get too complicated and overwhelm you guys. <laughs> Alright, let's say you're holding an X note, okay, so the X hold is going, and then you're pushing the other notes, and then now a circle hold note comes. So if you combine that circle hold note with the X, now it's a double hold note, but if there's a X note or a circle note, your hold will break because you can't push the same note, you know what I mean? So sometimes, it's better to, let's say um, you're holding the X and you're holding the circle. You basically give up the X hold and start the circle hold by itself. And now, the next few notes, there was basically no uh, circles, just X's and stuff. So now you can keep this hold bonus going even longer. Anyways, it doesn't matter. I have to understand it. Just do what I tell you, okay? There's this note right here. This is when you don't combine it for this song. <laughs> Okay, where is it? Right here. So right now, see, it's a square and circle. And there's an X hold about to arrive. We're not gonna... We could combine that X with the square and circle. But you see, right after the X hold, there's a square. So if I did that, this uh, triple hold would only last, like, not even one second. Because as soon as I hit that square, I'm gonna break my hold bonus. So for this song... Basically, after I hit that first X, I have to let go of my square and circle hold, and then start the X hold by itself, and then continue playing. So, let me demonstrate that. Let me demonstrate that for you guys. There we go, like that. See that? We could we went through all those notes, and the X hold is still alive. And uh, from this method, instead, you can get more points. Obviously, we're not going to reach max hold because as soon as I hit that X, it's going to break. But this uh, method is better than the uh, triple method. Uh, that's it for this uh, episode. Thank you guys for your uh, feedback from the first episode. Uh, I'm glad you guys are enjoying this. I'm going to try and do three episodes a week. For now, I'll be just doing most of the songs that uh, I want to play. And then later on, I'll take a request. So, no requests for now, but I will in the future. You guys have a good day, and I hope to see you again next time.